This is a demonstration video of the Ferguson record player. I'm just going to show you how to use it in case you're not familiar with it. When you receive it, the first thing you'll need to do before playing it is to screw down the two transit screws on the deck here and here and screw those all the way down so that the deck floats on its springs. And there's also a plastic cover over the new stylus and that just slides off in that direction. The two main control knobs for tone and volume are on the front. So I'll just play a couple of records so that you can see how it works. You can stack between one and six records, so I'll demonstrate with two. Just pop them on the spindle and put the bar across. Speed control is on the left, and to start the auto changer, just flick the right hand control knob all the way around. And if you want to skip to the next record, just flick the right hand switch around again. Gee, but it's great to be back home. Home is where I want to be. I've been on the road so long, my friend. And if you came along, I know you could. So I'll just demonstrate with a 12 inch as well. When you stack a 12 inch or a 10 inch record, this here, this black horizontal lever is a size selection arm. So you need to make sure that the record is above the lever, like that. If you don't want to use the auto changer and you just want to play one record manually at a time then you can just pop the record down the spindle onto the mat and just turn the control lever on the right hand side to the first position and that will start the turntable and you can then put the arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing if you then carefully pop the bar down it will know to switch off automatically when it gets to the end. If you leave it playing with the control bar in the upright position, that will trigger the repeat function and this is for 7 inch records only and it will repeat the same 7 inch record over again until you manually switch it off. So I hope that covers everything but obviously if you do have any questions when you receive it you can send me a message through eBay.